off Patrick Mahomes, who is 4-1 in his young playoff career. So, Shannon, you know, I know this is your guy, Mahomes boy. So who wins? What is the score? Skip, for me, there's only one team that was playing worse than Kansas City down the stretch that made the playoffs. That was the Pittsburgh Steelers. And we saw what happened to them. Yep. And they did the same thing. They was playing poorly. They mm -hmm. won a game, and then they sought a lot of their guys out. And then they didn't come out ready to play. And then you see mm -hmm. what happened. They're going home. And then they're still having crying over spilt milk about how disrespectful Cleveland World mm -hmm. was and all that other stuff. Yep. This was concerning with me because I didn't like what I saw. Um, I don't really think that the, the Chiefs played well since Kansas, since they beat Tampa and maybe New Orleans. But I don't like the way they played coming down the stretch. And I thought Andy would play those guys at least for a half to get them some, some because they were going to take the half the bye and they're going to have a week off. Um, and so I don't love the way they were playing, but they have Patrick Mahomes. Tyreek is healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, he was nursing that hamstring. He was on a pitch count. He's had three weeks to get 100% healthy. The difference between Pittsburgh and Kansas City, Patrick Mahomes, yes, he would throw the ball short, but he's looking to throw the ball over your head. And Kansas and, uh, and the uh, Browns condensed the field mm -hmm. because they became unconcerned. Yep. They became very, they were not even worried in the slightest that Ben was going to attempt to throw the ball over the head. Well, they don't have that luxury this week. Mm -hmm. I understand what Cleveland's going to try to do. Yep. Cleveland's going to try to establish Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. They're not going to snap the ball until around five, four, three, oh, and they're going to try to limit the amount of time and the amount of possessions that Patrick Mahomes has the football. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't need it much. The question is, can Cleveland can Cleveland's defense, can they get to, say, 30 points, Skip, minus four, minus three turnovers? Because that, I think that's what happened last week to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh gave them 24 points via turnover. First play of the game was a quick seven. I don't believe Patrick Mahomes turns the ball over like Ben did last week. Mm. And I think it's going to be a close game, but I think Mahomes wins this ball game. I don't believe uh, the Browns can get to 31 without getting a scoop and score or pick six or a short field. So I took the Chiefs 31-24. Mm. So you think it'll be a little closer than I a do. lot of people do. I do. I do. <sighs> you know, I'm feeling special today, as in upset special. I just feel like the Browns have been heading north. And I'm not saying Kansas City's heading south, but they're just sort of stuck in no man's land right now. And Patrick Mahomes hasn't played a down of football for three weeks mm -hmm. coming off, you could argue, the worst stretch of his career mm -hmm. because he's been average over his last seven games. He, he ranked ninth best in pro football focuses rankings over his last seven starts. It's not that guy. That's, that's not the best no. quarterback in, in football. And furthermore, to your point about Kansas City, man, they've struggled. You look at these games, like I'm just going to give you the quick margins of victory. They beat Carolina at home by two. Then at Las Vegas, remember that game, it took the late touchdown pass. They won by four. And then at Tampa, Brady came all the way back to 27-24, couldn't get the ball back in the last four minutes, so they hung on to win by three. Denver at home, they beat by six. I know it's a division mm -hmm. match, a rivalry. At Miami, they won by six. At New Orleans, they won by three. And then the Atlanta Falcons, whose defense you have torched on this show. Yeah, you say it's the worst pass defense yes, in pro football. They, they were. Well, at Kansas City in Patrick Mahomes' last outing, Atlanta lost by a grand total of three points. And, and he threw for a grand total of 278 yards. Yeah. A guy who can throw for 500, yep. threw for 278. I mean, Brady threw for 399 one week later against this same defense mm -hmm. at Tampa in their final and regular season. What, 340 something er, a week earlier, a couple he, of weeks earlier. Two weeks earlier. And in that final game, Brady threw for four touchdowns with one interception, which was not his fault. Little Scotty Miller popped it up in mm -hmm. the air. And Patrick only completed 55% of his mm -hmm. passes that day against the Atlanta Falcons. Mm -hmm. So, how can you make a case that they're rolling or they're on fire because if you look at at the last six games their their point differential and their points scored both rank 11th in the nfl yeah. well well that's not hot they, that's they're they're not streaking as coach landry used to tell no. me into the playoffs they, they, they've won game skip but if you look at it they hadn't been hot 
since the first three quarters of when they beat Tampa. Other than that, they struggled. They got off to the slow start against, skip, remember Miami? They were down 10 nothing, and they get they go hot again. Mahomes turned the ball through three picks, took a 30 yards a, law, a sack for a loss. Mm. So you're right, Skip. Down the stretch, the last month, month and a half in the season, this is not the Kansas City that we saw the first month, month and mm -hmm. a half of the season. But doesn't matter now. Um, Cleveland's playing with a lot of confidence. Cleveland believes that they can beat this team. Now, I think a lot of that has to do with going into Pittsburgh. Who they where they had lost what 17 straight mm -hmm. games had won in God knows mm -hmm. how long. Yep. And so they says, look, we're gonna run the football. We're gonna skip. I, I don't believe you can beat a scoring contest with the Chiefs. Mm -hmm. I don't believe the Browns can score because I know they can. I know uh, uh, Kansas City at, at home they can get to 42. They can get to mm -hmm. 49, 50 points. Yep. Can 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 Cleveland get to that? No. Mm -hmm. They want to minimize Patrick Mahomes' possession. They want to possess the football and come away with points. Now, it would be better if they possessed the football six, seven minutes and got touchdowns. Mm. But, you know, if you get a field goal, but at some point in time, Skip, when you get in the red zone, you're going to have to pay it off with a touchdown mm. because we know Mahomes is going to come right back down the field at mm. you. Okay, so this game boils down to three factors for the Browns on offense. The first factor is Baker Mayfield has been played much better than you give him credit for on this show. And that's over the last 11 games since they lost Odell. I'm knocking on wood for Odell, but I, I promise you it was no coincidence that Baker started to grow up as a quarterback without Odell. He was too Odell conscious, Odell centric. And once he started to spread the wealth and not force the ball to Odell anymore, things started happening for the better and then for the good and then for the Great, because over these, he's eight and three in his last 11 games. He's 19 touchdowns to only two interceptions. Mm -hmm. And remember, the three losses included the shootout that he lost to Lamar when I thought Baker was extraordinary in that game. Mm -hmm. And they did lose to the Jets, but they got COVID racked and he lost his top four receivers going mm -hmm. into that game. Okay, so what does he have on his side? Who are his bodyguards? He has simply the best offensive line in football. Yeah. And Pro Football Focus backs me up on that because they have four of their five are ranked in the top ten. Right. Well, who, what have you ever heard of that? Yeah. Who, it, whoever. It, is Conklin back? He's got a hamstring, but they he's limited. But that, I think he's going to try to go at least a lineman with a hamstring. you got a little better chance right. of playing than a receiver or DB. Well, I'm going to speed rush him. I'm going to make okay. him kick right. out there in a hurry. Okay, maybe. <laughs> but Joel Batonio is yeah. back because yeah. he was on the COVID, COVID list. Yeah. And so it's Batonio Treader. Wyatt Teller is ranked number one in pro football focus of all the linemen. He's number one ranked. Mm -hmm. And then you mentioned Conklin and the kid out of Alabama, the first round pick, Jedrick Wills, mm -hmm. is, is ranked 50th, but they have him second ranked among the rookie, rookie tackles. tackles. Okay? So that's an offensive line. Yes. And as you well know, Nick Chubb, with a little help from Kareem Hunt, they can run it down your throat. They can. Okay? And they Kareem Hunt is going, quote, unquote, home to the team that drafted right. him originally. And I like their chances of controlling the, the football and winning the clock. They're right. going to have to win the clock if they're going to win this game. I think they have to win the clock 35 to 25 in minutes. I agree. And, and Baker is going to have to be perfect. He's going to have to be careful and he's going to have to be deadly accurate. And he's going to have to hit all the key third down passes for five, yep. six yards. That They're definitely going to have to be 50% of plus on third down. They will. I totally agree. So given all that factor on offense and given the fact they get Denzel Ward and they get Kevin Johnson, their starting corners back on defense because they've been on the COVID right. list, all of a sudden the momentum feels like if Kansas City isn't on its game immediately, yes. If, yes. if rest equals rust, mm -hmm. then they get off to a slow start. We saw them get off to slow starts, obviously, in both their home playoff games last year, but it didn't matter because they just blew those two teams, the Texans and the Titans, right. off the field once they got hopelessly behind right. to both of them. Mm -hmm. So to me, this time it will be a close game momentum, and they're hot while Kansas City is going to try to flip the switch to get hot again. And the weather's 
it, it's going to be 40 degrees. It's it, it's going to be a little windy, 10 to 20 miles yeah. an hour, but it's not it, it's not foul weather. Right. Okay. And hell, so, it gets cold in Cleveland too. It gets cold in Cleveland. <laughs> so I like everything adding up to the fact that Baker Mayfield is growing up before your very eyes. And again, there were lots of shots taken. Sammy Watkins with the tweet. Yeah. You know. Right. You remember that one where where he basically just said, uh, you know, one of his followers said, looks like we're going to have some comp is in competition next week. And, and Sammy Watkins fired back to him. I wouldn't go that far. LOL. <laughs> so they are LOL. And Baker took the high road, which I thought was very mature. Oh, well, that's how you have to be. You have to be confident. They've been together a long time. They believe in themselves. Yeah, Baker took that confidence. Had Baker Mayfield been in Oklahoma. Yep. And he's playing anybody else when he knows he's the substantial favorite. He has yep. the most talent. Mm -hmm. He's not taking the high road. Yep. This is one of the times that he knows he doesn't have the most talented okay. football team. I totally agree. Obviously, Kansas City.